now I'll go ahead and start assembling the camera module, installing the camera module on this bracket, they call it, or camera mount. It is this plastic piece here. Now this piece appears to be covered by some form of protective layer. Let me confirm that. Yes, it is a tiny plastic protective film. So first step is to carefully remove the protective layer on both sides. Starting from some corner if need be using some tool to help us start peeling. Now the plastic is nice and shiny. Next we'll need to take out the camera module from its anti-static back. Take a look, the camera has protection that I will leave for now in place. It's ESP32 module, I'll have to see whether or not it has crypto module on it, so it can decode SSL or not. But in any case, it will be a very nice addition to the already quite cool smart car. So the module will be installed like this on the plastic plate. We'll need this back number 5, which says 5 for camera. From this back, We'll need two and two by six copper pillars standoffs. I'll take all the parts out so we can pick easier. So there's a whole bunch of standoffs and they all appear to be the same type. So I'll just go ahead and pick two of them for my camera and I also will need four M2 by four bolts obviously there are five bolts here one spare all of them the same type so obviously this type of bolts so we'll start okay I'll start from the plastic part the plastic part is bent as you can see, from the bend part, insert a bolt, place a pillar on top of it, and loosely tighten. Do not over tighten for now to allow it to adjust. Again, from the bend part, like this, insert bolt. So this is inner bend, outer bend. So from the inner bend, insert the bolt, place the pillar on the outer bend side and lose the title. The camera will be installed with the connector toward this bend part with this opening. Align the holes with the pillars. Take a bolt, insert to the hole and the pillar. And loosely tighten. Take a second bolt, insert to the hole and the pillar with the hole and pillar aligned.
and now go ahead and tighten everything in place. I am using the really small Phillips screwdriver included in the kit. Do not tighten too much because you can crack something, but tighten, tighten up so nothing is loose. So this step is completed except installing the cable. So now I'll take the back of cables. I need a cable with four wires. There are a couple of them. They appear to be the same size, so it doesn't matter. I'll just pick one of them, put the other cables aside for now. Take the cable, it has keys on one side and is completely flat on the other. So the side with the keys has to be here on the top with these two slots. Carefully insert the cable in place and it will go through this opening here. So this step of the assembly process is completed and now I can put the rest of the bolts and nuts back in their back and prepare them for the rest of the assembly steps. This step is completed and we have camera ready to be installed on the robot. Now I'll go ahead and install the camera on top of the ultrasonic ranger. Before I do anything else, I'll carefully examine how the different parts will have to go together. So the camera will be installed right here with some spacers. This cable will have to go here on the back. So the camera will be installed like this. I'll need back number 5 for camera, label for camera. I'll need two M1.6 nuts, uh, two copper pillars. They are actually M2, but it doesn't matter since we will not be using the threads from what I observe. And two M. 1.6 by 16 bolts. It will be these long bolts here. We obviously have one spare. So go ahead, take out the parts from the back. Make it easy for us to access everything. It is really nice that Elegohem included spares of these little bolts and nuts because sometimes they're easy to lose. I have experience with this. So, carefully following the picture, we insert a bolt through the hole in the corner of the outer sonic ranger here on the top, all the way through, if necessary, using a small screwdriver to help us drive it. Take a pillar, place it here, Carefully fold the cable through this opening to make sure the cable ends on the back. We want the cable on this side and insert here through the hole. Take a small nut, 1.6. I have not bothered to measure, but I'm quite positive this is the 1.6 nut. And using the screwdriver, loosely tighten the bolt. Now we'll repeat the same procedure. Insert the bolt through the outer sonic ranger, through the plastic part. Pick a standoff, P1, 
pillar and then you turn a little bit the bolt insert through the hole make sure the cable is still on this side pin it place it here and lose the title actually at this point I think we can go ahead and fully tighten while adjusting the position of the camera before I tighten completely I'll just straighten the camera make sure it's facing nice and straight and now I can go ahead and tighten completely so this step of the assembly is completed and we have ultrasonic ranger and camera installed on top of the servo I can go ahead and put back the spares generously provided by Elego